Hi there, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots, and today we are making this adorable gnome garland. Look how festive, and look how fun, and it's super duper easy. If you'd like to make it, click that like button so that I know you're here, and let's get started. As I mentioned, we are going to make this super easy craft. It's gonna be just a couple of supplies here, so we're gonna start out with scissors, and a razor blade. We're also going to use any scrap of faux fur that you have. I used a white craft fur from the Bolt um, from a fabric store and then I used these just craft sheets of felt and wool balls. And then we're also going to use a large darning needle and some embroidery thread in whatever color you want, green or brown. Okay, so we're just going to get um, these wool balls out onto a table so we can decide a pattern. I got them from Amazon for a super awesome price and you can get them on Etsy or Amazon any color you want but we're gonna take our embroidery thread and we're going to measure out just four feet so if you're making a really really big tree I recommend only four foot sections because that way all of them will be facing the same way you don't have to worry about it so we are going to thread on one side of our thread or uh, thread a needle on one side of our thread and then put it aside because what we're going to do is we're going to determine our pattern. So I'm using a three and a half foot uh, tree for the kitchen. So I wanted a little garland that would have a lot of color. And what I did is I spaced each ball two inches apart and every fourth one was going to be a gnome. So I just made sure I had a little bit on the end so I measured four inches and tied a knot in the embroidery thread and then I'm going to thread all my balls up until our first gnome. So I did white two inches, red two inches, green two inches. And then when it was time to make the gnome you can just make them all in an assembly style if you want which is what I did and that is we're going to start with a razor blade and the faux fur and we're going to cut only the backing into this little tiny rectangle. And we don't need the fur to go all the way around like we do for our sock gnomes. This one can just go most of the way around. So again, this is a perfect scrap busting project. And what we're going to do is we're just going to hot glue that. Um, you can use a low temp heat gun. I, I had a uh, high temp, so I'm going to give you some tips there. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a little hot glue and then we're going to put it in about the center of the wool ball. It doesn't have to be exact, but we're just going to be adding a nose and we're going to be covering up that join mark with the hat. Now speaking of the hat, we're going to measure for yours, so I'm using a three quarter inch wool ball here and my squares ended up being about three inches uh, by three inches. So what we're gonna do is make sure that your felt covers all the way around the gnome and the beard, but also down far enough that you can cover up that join of the beard and the wool ball. So then you're just gonna cut a square and you're not gonna be done yet because if you've never made a gnome hat before, these are going to be pretty easy, no sewing involved. So all we're gonna do is we're going to fold over our square to where you're holding onto the side with the fold on it. And then just line it up to get it as even as you can and we're gonna create a rounded off bottom. And then we're just going to create a triangle for the top. Um, we did go straight into a point, so here's our cone-ish rounded off triangle shape. Super easy. And all we're going to do is we're going, if you're new to this, I don't normally do this, but if you're new to this and you want to make sure that you cover up the join, just grab a little hot glue, put a dot right in the center, and just line it up. I wanted to show you, so I picked it up. I don't normally take it off the table, but I want to show you so you can line it up to where it covers the edge of the faux fur so no one can see everything. We're gonna put a nose right there in that center. So all we're going to do now is we're going to build the hat right here on the felt ball and then we're going to just join one side to, um, onto the ball and secure it with a little hot glue and then you're just going to add hot glue to the other side and I would recommend that you start like this with the bottom instead of the top. Don't try to do the whole thing at once so get the bottom secure kind of you know make sure it wraps around and rolls around and you'll see this sort of waffle cone shape here with this opening at the top and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a little hot glue and again if you don't have um, hot glue finger covers I recommend using a toothpick or a skewer because hot glue is hot and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold it here and then I'm just going to fold over the edge and secure it down 
Okay, so once you have that, pull off any of the, the little strings and then you're just going to join the two pieces at the, from the bottom where you glued to the top where you glued and just fold it over. Um, gently push it. Um, this is a higher quality craft felt, so if you don't have a high quality craft felt, don't push real hard, otherwise the glue will show through. But otherwise, we can move on to the nose. Okay, so for the noses, you can use anything you want. Um, you can use a wooden bead for a more farmhouse look. You can use a clay nose that you make like we do for our bigger gnomes. Or you can use what I used here, which was a teeny tiny seed bead stolen from my daughter's craft supplies. And all I'm doing is um, I'm just adding a little hot glue to a skewer and then I'll put the gnome nose on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place it like I'm turning it down and placing the glue behind it, holding the little bead, and then that way it's landing right in the center of our gnome. Okay, so here's a quick tip. I often did this and it is wrong. Don't just thread them through. Pull out your garland, lay it down, and make sure you're threading it the right way. So I had a lot of backwards gnomes for a little while, <laughs> which looked kind of funny, so I had to redo them, and I don't want you to have to redo that. So that is it for this craft. You just keep repeating until your entire garland is made and tie off the end, about four inches from the end. And that's it. It's so much fun. It's really a quick craft. Be sure to get the supplies that I use because I like doing things the easy way. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Please like this video. It helps us so much. And subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots for more crafty fun.